it's about growing up and moving on. And so that's what I did with the, the Toyota guys. Yeah, I had to go there and, and apologize to them. How have you seen the relationship with Toyota evolve over the years? So the first year I was in at Toyota, I had a way better Toyota relationship, I felt like, in the first year being with those guys um, than I ever did with, with the Chevy folks, you know? So um, they're very welcoming, very um, family-oriented. They, they were always very supportive. And, and we came in and we had a rough start. I want to actually bring this up because Ed uh, Laukas, the Toyota marketing chief, brought this up to me the yeah. other day. So you pretty much publicly trash their engines. So the relationship goes on for a couple years and, and the motors aren't really getting better on power and we're having more reliability issues. One thing you kind of learn with drivers, they never have enough motor, okay? <laughs> <You> can, <laughs> I've never had a meeting where they go, that thing was better than what we need. And there was a meeting at, at Joe Gibbs Racing in one of our competition meetings, and Joe got up out of his seat and chucked his pencil across the table at the engine builder, and the veins are popping out of Joe's forehead, and you can see his neck and everything all stretched out, and he is just going off, right? And he, he, he used one cuss word. It was, it was ass, but Joe never cusses, right? He's, he does not use foul language. So... We were all just like blown away. So I guess I took Joe's emotions and I'm like, yeah, 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 and did it more publicly. My response to him was, if you have something constructive that you want to talk about relative to the Toyota relationship with TRD, then you need to pick up the phone and call me and not air yourself out in the media. That was young and dumb, Kyle, right? So Ed and I, we've, 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 we've had a couple come to Jesus meetings. They're both bright, but they're also fiery, both of them. And I think they kind of, you know, they speak the same language in a lot of ways. Ed was trying to chew my ass. He was doing a good job at it. And then I gave him some of my thoughts and theories, and he was like, you're not wrong. I think I did a really good job selling him. Uh, the ketchup popsicle to a woman in white gloves. Ed was the woman in white gloves. So... Um, I'm just kidding. But no, we, we just came to an agreement. I said, you know, a couple things probably need to change. Personnel needs to change. Policies need to change. Philosophies need to change. And I'm not going to say I'm right today, but lo and behold, some of that stuff went into play and we, we came out of that, I think, way further ahead. What was it like when you were in front of the team in Costa Mesa? It was awkward. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've, I've done a few of those before, but I, so I get over, I just imagine everybody's naked. You gotta put your big boy pants on and we gotta come out of this and get better. It's about growing up and moving on. And so that's what I did with the, the Toyota guys. Yeah, I had to go there and, and apologize to them and talk to them and, 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 you know, a lot of those team members still today um, will, will say how much they appreciated that moment and my admittance and uh, our opportunities to get better. But I would say that one of the other big moments that we that we talked about was when he asked me um, what my opinion was of Samantha because he was going to marry her. I think that was a big deal for him to pull me aside and have the trust in me to be able to say, hey, you know, what's your, what's your opinion of Samantha? And, you know, Jill Gibbs says all the time that, you know, Ed, you're one of the people that's responsible for helping Kyle grow from being a kid to being a father and a man and a responsible human being. 2019, uh, how would you best explain how big of a year that was for Toyota on the NASCAR front? Having Kyle win his second championship, really what that said ultimately for us as a program is that you're no longer that challenger brand. You're now firmly established in the NASCAR community. And oh, by the way, you're not just that Japanese company, you're just a competitor. The very first race that I went to, that was in 2007. So I'm wearing my Toyota shirt and somebody threw a full beer can at me and started screaming at me about, you know, get your junk out of here. You know, we don't want Toyota and NASCAR. You're going to ruin NASCAR. Really? And uh, so I go, well, this is, uh, this is really starting off, you know, really, really well. The Toyota relationship means what to you? Oh, I, I, I feel like I'm a Toyota guy. Like I'm, I'm Toyota blood. My kid goes... Brexton goes to karate class. When they make their moves, you know, it's Kia. And I keep trying to tell him he needs to say Toyota. 
<laughs> so I am ingrained Toyota, all right? 